Good morning. Today we are looking at a quiet start to our day. We may get some storms later on, though. So a little bit different than what we enjoyed this weekend. It was beautiful this weekend. Today we'll start off pretty nice. We're going to see some quiet conditions, as you can see here on our sky cam. Clear skies in the eastern part of our viewing area and right along the Red River. And 64 degrees right now in Fargo. It's 58 degrees for your dew point, so pretty comfortable outside. And wind out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour. We're also looking at more at 61 right now for your current temperature. So not too bad out there here right now in the valley. Off to the east, it's a little cooler. We're at 59 degrees in Langdon and 58 in Bemidji and over into Grand Fork, 62, 61 in Jamestown. Wind is either light or calm or we're seeing wind speeds that are getting into the teens up in the northwest. That's also where we have more cloud cover at the moment. We're seeing more clouds wet the farther west you go and that'll be the case today. We'll start with clouds west and then those will be working their way east throughout the morning hours. Here's a look at the nation. We've got some storms and some rain over into Kansas and Oklahoma. So central parts of the plains. Of course, we have our clouds starting to stream in and then the very heavy rain with tropical moisture uh, that's just going to be circulating over uh, the Gulf Coast of Florida for the next several days. So it's going to be a soggy week for anybody who's going to be in that area. So for today, we're going to be quiet, especially the farther east you are. Uh, we will see a chance for some showers and some thunder showers popping up today. This is a new model run that brings them in and a little bit farther south earlier. So we'll have to see if this does pan out. But uh, this is a lot different than what we were showing you even the last weather update we had just a few minutes ago. So we're looking at a chance for some showers and some thunder showers rolling in. This is around noon. Temperatures in the 70s to around 80 degrees around lunchtime. Those continue to work their way north and kind of fizzle out. And by 5 o'clock we're looking at some pretty warm temperatures south of this line that moves in. So we're looking at some mid to well mid 80s I'd say in southeastern North Dakota. The rest of us in the upper 70s to some low 80s and that wind will be breezy again out of the south and gusting into the 20s maybe in some 30 mile per hour gusts later on this evening that next line tries to work its way through but this model run indicates it's just going to fizzle out for us for today so we'll see if that happens now looking ahead toward the overnight hours tonight things do quiet down uh, and we'll continue to be on the quieter side as we start off our day on Tuesday. It should, should look pretty nice in the morning hours especially and even into the afternoon with the northern part of the viewing area more under the clouds. Into the later afternoon hours we'll see temperatures. It's going to be a big range. Some 70s up north to some upper 80s to near 90 in the south and wherever you fall in that you may end up being a little bit hot or a little bit on the cooler side uh, for the day with uh, the ending the day on a quieter note. However, overnight Tuesday night and into Wednesday we may see some severe weather develop. This is for Wednesday. This is the severe storm risk. Just want to point that out. So it's a few days out, but just want to give you a heads up if you have plans for Wednesday. It would be more in the southern half of the valley where we have that slight risk for some storms coming up for midweek. But until then, things are looking pretty okay. It's just not as perfect as it was this weekend. Great shot of lightning bolts passing over the uh, barn there on the left hand side of your screen. Thank you, Tiffany, for uploading that to our website from one of our many storms this summer, 86 degrees for your high today in Fargo with, again, stronger wind. We're starting to feel that humidity kick in as well with that chance for some storms. Not a great shot, but the possibilities there. Tuesday, quieter and warmer, mid to upper 80s in the Southern Valley, a little cooler up north. We get more active Wednesday and into Thursday. That's when we could see some strong storms to maybe even some severe storms blowing in. And then behind that, we dry out and we cool down a bit back into the 70s for Friday and into your uh, Saturday. By Sunday, we're getting toward 80 degrees. Once again, it's looking like another quiet weekend at this point. Of course, that's several days away and maybe a little bit cool too coming up here for the weekend. But again, a little bit more summer coming up here this week. Today, that slight chance for some storms. It's midweek where we're keeping an eye on that severe threat. It's good to have the early heads up to prepare. Thank you, Lisa. August is here, and of course, that means it is really time to start thinking about back to school, whether the kids want to or not. And of course, we've got our back to school Mondays throughout the month here on the Valley today. Christy Larson is live with some healthy eating advice for you and your kids coming up next.